Okay, we're on page, it looks like page 34, I believe. Uh, solving equation models by using square roots. Um, so um, we're gonna, this is this one's gonna be kind of interesting, but because um, uh, because of the real life context to it. Um, and, and you'll see why in a second. Um, so I'm gonna let you read that example on your own, because I'm gonna jump straight into the question here. Um, a storage container has the shape of a rectangular prism. Its height is eight feet. Its length is two times its width. The store, the volume is 400 cubic feet. Find the length and width of the container. So um, just to visualize what's going on here, here is a uh, storage container, the storage container that they're talking about. Um, its height is eight feet, and its length is two times its width. So whatever the width is, the length is going to be two times the width. The volume is 400 cubic feet. So um, I don't know if you remember your volume formula, but basically we're going to multiply the length and the width and, and the height. So in this case, W times, um, we don't want to write just L. We want it to be um, the same um, the same variable. And in this case, the length is twice the width. So we're going to write 2W, so the length, times the uh, width, which is W times 2W times 8. Um, which if we smash that all together, um, oh, by the way, this is going to be 400 feet, or 400 cubic feet. But on this side, if we smash that all together, W times 2W times 8, we're going to get, what, 16W squared equals 400. So um, we're, we're right where we need to be in finding the length with the container. So dealing with this uh, equation right here, let's go ahead and solve it like we did in the previous video. We're going to divide both sides by 16. When we do that, we get w squared equals, oh my goodness, what is 400 divided by 16? Uh, 400 divided by 400 divided by 16 is 25. Okay, that's nice. We get w, or when we square root it, that, by the way, get w equals plus or minus 5. But in this case, after all that talk about plus and minus, we're only going to use the, the plus side. We're going to say the width is is five. Why is that? Well, because in real life, whether we like to believe it or not, we cannot have a negative, um, a negative, or at least in this context, we can't have a negative solution. Okay, maybe if we're dealing with money, we might be able to, but uh, in this case, um, you can't have a negative measurement. So the width is five, the length is twice the width, so the length is going to be what, 10? Um, and that was it. Find the length and the width, uh, five, and 10 are our answer. Okay, cool. Question number two. The area of a rectangular window is 32 square feet. The length of a rectangular window is two times its width. So if we have a rectangular window, uh, the length is going to be two times its width. So same old, same old. Length and width. Uh, and if we multiply the length, remember area is length times width, uh, which in this case is what, 32. So uh, the the length and the width, which would be 2w squared, is going to equal 32. So there's our there's our equation. 2w squared equals 32. Divide both sides by 2. And when we do that, we get w squared equals 16. And then if we square root both sides, we get w equals plus or minus 4. But remember, we cannot deal with negative... Um, negative measurements in, in this in this context so your w is going to oh, wow what happened there w equals two no sorry my goodness i apologize four and then the length is twice the width so it's eight so four and eight um here's the last problem for for this section the equation d equals 16 t squared gives a distance in d that a ball falls in t seconds how many seconds will it take a ball to drop to the ground from a height of 64 feet okay so let's see um if we set up this question here um the distance is going to be 16 t squared and we want to know how long will it take to to for the ball to drop from that height of 64 feet. So um, we're going to divide both sides by 16. And when we do that, we get t squared equals what is that, 4, or plus or minus 4. Or no, not yet. Getting a little ahead of myself. I'm sorry about that. Uh, 4, and then we're going to square root it, and then we're going to get plus or minus 2, 
but then uh, we can't really have negative unless you have a time machine we can't really have negative time so we're gonna say t equals two seconds